with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Obviously, the rain, not such a good thing for a lot of those outdoor events. It hasn't been coming down hard the whole time. In fact, many areas not seeing a whole lot in terms of rainfall amounts, which I'll show you in just a second. First, live Pinpoint Doppler 12 showing the scattered showers continue. A few more here for Woonsocket. And notice how a lot of the heavy stuff is actually just offshore. We can take you down a little bit closer. Notice the strip of yellow and darker green now uh, moving just to the south of Horseneck Beach here in Massachusetts, potentially out towards the vineyard. Another actually downpour on um, Martha's Vineyard right now, or at least some scattered downpours. And it did appear as this uh, heavier line of showers passed on through the winds in Newport had a recent gust of around 40 miles an hour. So it's possible that we may get some isolated tree damage, limbs coming down, things like that. I've seen a few reports. Most of us will avoid any major issues tonight though. And notice our rainfall amounts. Not really that impressive. About a third in Westerly, 0.14 in Newport, not even one tenth in Providence and 0 0.06 here in Smithfield. Now, obviously, we can add a little bit more to those numbers over the next few hours. This was yesterday at TF Green, but even when you add all that up, it's only about a third for TF Green, still well below normal since September 1st, about an inch below normal. Now, our future cast shows a slight chance of a few more scattered showers. Even a downpour or a thunderstorm can completely be ruled out, but at this point, those will be few and far between. And you can see overnight the showers really thin out. By early tomorrow morning, we're looking at clearing skies, maybe a little bit of patchy fog along the coast, but those temperatures will really start to take off by late tomorrow morning, which we'll show you in just a second. Right now we're at 70 in Smithfield, 72 Providence, 71 in Westerly. Dew points extremely high in the low 70s for Providence up to Smithfield. Newport right now with a dew point of 69. This humidity also finally goes away by tomorrow as well, at least starts to slide away tomorrow afternoon. Winds recently, as I mentioned, they've been a bit stronger along the south coast, 32 miles an hour in Newport, 24 in New Bedford, and 28 in Providence. And we could still see a few more strong wind gusts over the next few hours. In Narragansett, not seeing too much on the lens, but here in Newport, it's been pretty consistent with the raindrops on the lens as of late. You can see a few more there right now. This whole mess, this whole system finally starts to push offshore tonight. Behind it, notice the clean air over the Great Lakes. Why do I show you that? Well, that's where we have dew points in the 50s instead of the 70s. Now, we may not quake to the 50s during much of tomorrow, but we do slide back in the low 60s. So tomorrow's kind of our transition day, a little bit sticky, but I think you'll notice a lot more comfortable humidity-wise by tomorrow afternoon. And then Wednesday and Thursday, back to the refreshing category. So if you've been needing that air conditioner running for the past couple days, that will finally get a break later this week. Our forecast for tomorrow shows temperatures into the low 80s by around lunchtime, still 79 at 5 p.m. for the drive home from work and across the south coast will be similar temperatures mid to upper 70s, maybe a few degrees cooler for places like Hope Valley and Newport. Northern Rhode Island temperatures also in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees, 79 for Woonsocket, around 78 Burville, Attleboro around 80 with mostly sunny skies. I don't think wind should be that big a deal tomorrow out of the north at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So on Wednesday, you can see it's cooler, much cooler than tomorrow, 68. There will be a slight chance of a shower late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. I don't see a washout, but it could be a bit unsettled. So a possibility of some showers for Thursday temperatures in the low 60s, a little bit warmer on Friday, high of 67, and then humidity does increase a bit into the weekend with high temperatures in the mid 70s under a mix of clouds and sun. But definitely, Steve, a lot of people not so happy with the weather today. You're going to like the weather a lot better tomorrow. I like how that sounds. Thanks, Pete. Yep. More coverage you can count on is still ahead on Eyewitness News. Tough